Hi, this is Sunakshi Sinha and you're watching me on IndiaGlitz.com. Uh, what made you sign Linda? Was it uh, the script or was it the fact that it was a Rajnikanth film? Uh, well, I was shooting for a film uh, called Tevar. Uh, when I got the offer, my producer Boni Kapoor came to me and said that uh, the producers, uh, the Tamil producers have got in touch with me for this film and uh, it's a Rajnikanth film. Automatically, I think uh, there and then I had made up my mind that if I had to make a debut in uh, Tamil films, uh, who better than to make it with the best of the best of the best. And uh, uh, I then heard the script and that was the cherry on the cake. I think it was uh, a wonderful um, story. It was, uh, you know, a film that was going to be made on a huge scale. And I truly felt uh, fortunate that I got that opportunity uh, to make be a part of this film as my first film and so yeah Rajni sir did have a very big hand to play play in it and uh, of course the story was also fabulous. Uh, what was your parents reaction especially your father's did you also feel daunted uh, that uh, you would be you know doing a Tamil film? Uh, well I, I've, I've thought about it before doing a Tamil film because I don't understand the language I don't speak the language um, but I'm the kind of person that once I take up something, I make sure that I see it through till the end. And uh, I felt that, okay, let's do this. I'm sure that, you know, I'll be getting a lot of help from the people on set, which I did uh, right from my co-actors, Rajni sir, uh, you know, the other characters in the film, uh, KSR sir, you know, they really helped me with the language and getting the expressions right, um, getting the pronunciation right, the dialogues and everything. I was allowed to read placards, I was allowed to be prompted. So, you know, they made sure that I was very comfortable. Also, when my father heard that I was doing a film with uh, Rajni sir, he was quite amused actually because uh, he is a friend of his. And uh, But then my father also knew that um, I could not get a better Tamil debut than this and uh, uh, Rajni sir would make sure that uh, there was nothing that I would be uncomfortable about and I would be well taken care of as well. How is it uh, acting with uh, Rajni sir? I'm sure you would have heard a lot about him from your father. And so could you talk a bit about that? Uh, well, of course, everybody has heard about what a big star, uh, superstar uh, Rajni Kant is and, uh, um, you know, the kind of... Uh, admiration the kind of love the kind of respect the way he's worshipped by people um, we all have heard about that but you know when I started working with him I realized what a humble what a simple what a gentle human being he is and uh, truly a gem of a person um, has no airs about his stardom at all and I feel that's so amazing after being in the industry for so long sustaining that kind of uh, stardom and that kind of power and yet having your head on your shoulders I think that's such an admirable quality and um, it was an absolute pleasure working with him. And how did he help you go through the scene? Because you must have had quite a few romantic scenes with him. So how did he ensure the comfort? Uh, the kind of uh, role that it is, the kind of era that it is set in, it's set in the 1940s. Uh, at that point of time, anyway, the... Um, love stories were not very physical it was always about expressions it was always about talking through eyes um, it was more uh, about the dialogues uh, and uh, about the overall feelings so it was not something that either he would be uncomfortable uh, would be comf uncomfortable doing or I would be uncomfortable doing so that was taken care of you know right from the scripting stage itself and uh, sharing the same screen space with him was truly an honor I think he was very helpful in terms of um, he would let me know that um, if I could do something better he would let me know if I was saying something wrong he would let me know if uh, this expression this word could be expressed in a certain way so yeah they were truly really helpful uh, you know to me and uh, they treated me with a lot of patience um, they treated me with a lot of um, uh, you know they gave me a lot of encouragement and uh, I believe that is something that really helped me sail through this film. Uh, the film is set in two time periods and you play this character which is uh, datable which goes back to the 1940s. Bharati is the uh, role you play. Now, did you kind of do any uh, homework for this role or did you just come on a, with a clean slate on the sets and uh, do according to what the director told you to do? I'm actually a, the kind of actor who does prefer to go on any set uh, with a clean slate. Uh, I believe in speaking with my directors because I feel that the vision that they have for a script that they are going to make um, is far stronger than anybody else's. So I speak with them and then of course we come to a, 
midway ground where I have my own inputs. Uh, the director wants me to portray a role in a certain way. Sometimes there are directors who give you the complete freedom to to do what you want. Sometimes there are directors who, uh, uh, you know, kind of guide you um, in a way. And sometimes there are directors who want you to do exactly what they want you to do. Um, so yeah, I, I uh, sort of gauge that first that what kind of uh, uh, what way the director would want me to play, play the role. Um, KSR sir used to. Um, tell me what to do because solely because he knew that I didn't know the language and that was a really big help for me because have having you know when you know a language you're able to express give the right expressions at the right words when you don't know a language it's always a big help when somebody is telling you what to do and um, you know he did just that and I'm truly thankful to him if people appreciate my performance please don't give me any credit for it it's all KSR sir <laughs> Uh, could you uh, talk about the character Bharati and uh, how easy or challenging was it to, well, to play? And did you push the envelope for this film by playing? Um, yeah, I think uh, the, this character is very different. People would have not probably expected me to make a debut in such a simple village character in the 1940s, traditional. Um, in fact, when KSR sir showed the film to some of his, uh, um, you know, industry friends, they were shocked. They said they couldn't believe it that, oh, you know, you've got a Bollywood actress and she's playing such a simple village girl and uh, she's done such a good job with the dialogues. And, you know, in fact, the dialect was also... Uh, not today's modern day Tamil it was uh, I obviously didn't know the difference which made it much easier for me but um, you know they couldn't believe it and uh, I feel in that way yes it was pushing the envelope because it's so far away from what I am in real life I'm playing a person who's kind of helping in building a dam I was literally doing labor work throughout the shooting of the film um, so yeah it was uh, uh, very challenging for me but uh, I think I've realized that anything that really pushes my limits, that really challenges me is something that I always am proud of at the end of the day. And even before this film has released, the kind of feedback I got for the song that has been shown, for the trailer, for you know the kind of excitement, it's been tremendous. So um, I know that this film is very important to me and it's uh, always going to be hold a special place in my life. And about the character. Yeah, uh, so the character of Bharti, she's, she's actually a very... Um, She's a girl in the village who is actually um, the most educated and when you ask her which class she's been to, she says, I'm educated till the fourth standard. <laughs> and at that point of time, that was a huge deal to send a girl to school and, you know, to be educated till the fourth standard. Uh, at that point of time, women used to not work. Uh, you know, they used to not do the job that men used to do. And Bharti is the first person, first girl in the village who kind of steps forward and says that, no, I want to work, I want to help. And that's when the other women villagers follow her and, you know, help in putting this dam together, and which is such a big integral part of the film. Um, so she plays a very forthcoming, she plays a very um, enterprising uh, girl in the film. Um, she's also funny sometimes in some bits. She's a very innocent girl and um, I really enjoyed playing this character. Yeah. And uh, you spot a very vintage kind of a look. So how is it getting into those period costumes? And well, it was great because um, I was I was given the cert a certain reference of the kind of look that it was supposed to be and uh, uh, you know, a lot of research went into the kind of costumes, um, jewelry, hair, makeup, everything uh, that was supposed to be uh, part of my look. And, uh, you know, Nikhar, she's the designer who made my outfits and who put my clothes together. KSR, sir, they, they were very thorough in their research. And I felt that it was such a different thing that I was getting into, the kind of uh, look that it was, that it automatically I started enjoying it. And... Um, it was wonderful. It was a great experience. Does this character linger on in your mind or is it easy for you to switch on and switch off uh, as far as the roles are concerned? For me, actually, the kind of person I am, the kind of actor I am, I switch on and switch off with the camera itself. I don't uh, take my work home. I don't uh, sit and dwell on a certain character. When the camera comes on, that's when I get into character. And I, I believe that is something that has worked for me right from the very beginning. Be it a film like... Rowdy Rathor, be it a film like Lutera, be it a film like uh, Linga. My approach to each one of them has been the same. And uh, like I said, um, 
I actually cannot act until the camera is on. Um, I don't believe in rehearsing. I don't. I feel that kind of dilutes the uh, power of the first take. Uh, whatever comes spontaneously in the first take, uh, I believe in doing that. So yeah, switch on and switch off happens for me very easy, easily. Did you um, you know do any dances with Rajini sir? Ah, Rajika. I uh, did. There is a duet song which uh, called En Manava, which is. Um, Uh, part of the film and where she's uh, imagining herself to be the queen uh, and um, you know rajni sir did not dance in the uh, song but because he is a royal king and he has that persona he couldn't dance in the uh, being in the character that he was but uh, i have danced in that uh, song and uh, rekha and chini prakash have uh, you know choreographed it so well um, i love doing classical uh, songs actually because i really get to do them and when i get the opportunity i i thoroughly enjoy it and this song was so well pictured so well shot so well choreographed uh, there were beautiful formations so many dancers lovely costumes colors um, it was truly a wonderful experience you not only are acting with rajnikanth in your debut film you also have ar rahman composing the music for it so how do you feel I feel great. I've done eleven Hindi films, and uh, Linga will be my twelfth, but it'll be my first Tamil film. Uh, and I've waited for the day that I would get to work with A.R. Rahman sir because I've loved his music right from the very beginning. Ah, uh, Chaya Chaya still happens to be my favorite song. Um, you know, so I was just waiting for the day that when will he compose for a film of mine? And I'm so happy that it happened in my Tamil debut. Um, I haven't actually met him yet, but. Uh, it would be such an honor and uh, i'm i'm so happy uh, with in manava the song that he has uh, uh, given for me and I, all the songs in the album uh, right from mona gasolina to um, india neva um, everything is is just so well composed and i'm really happy that uh, i got the opportunity to be on a uh, ar rahman film and do you share screen space with anushka shetty the other way No, I actually don't share any screen space with Anushka Shetty because uh, she is. Uh, uh, it's divided into two halves. One is the nineteen forties. One is the modern day era. She plays uh, um, uh, the part in the modern day, and I play it in the nineteen forties. But uh, I met her at the audio launch, and uh, she is such a nice person, such a sweet girl. Um, we were actually sitting together while the proceedings were going up. and going on on stage and uh, uh, people were speaking in tamil and she actually was sitting next to me and translating each and every word that people were saying you know so i could understand what's going on and that was uh, so nice of her and a uh, very humble girl uh, i've seen um, a few of her films i have actually been a part of uh, uh, rowdy rathod which she was part of the original vikram akudu so i've played her character and um, so yeah she's she's uh, it was really nice to meet her people are eagerly waiting for this film and uh, since it's your uh, debut film so how do you feel are you jittery are you nervous i <laughs> I'm feeling exactly the way I felt when Dabang was releasing all over again <laughs> um I'm very very excited a little bit nervous getting butterflies in my stomach but um, I know that whatever is going to happen is going to going to be good only because um, you know the kind of positive energy that went into making of this film the kind of people that I've worked with uh and their passion and their um you know their intensity towards their work was tremendous and i feel that you know all that positive energy counts and turns into something and i'm sure that it'll turn into something how was the experience of doing your first film down south it was great i i thought it would be difficult but uh, uh, you know everybody that i worked with made it so easy for me uh, it was a wonderful experience overall yeah you've done quite a few remakes of telugu films in hindi what about doing in a regular telugu film uh i would actually like to you know not only tam- telugu tamil uh, films uh, uh, telugu films uh, in fact i i even got an offer for a kannada film once um since my made my debut in dabang i've been getting offers to do films down south but uh, i've not been able to because of my hindi projects but um you know when linga came to me it was an opportunity that i could not say no to it was something that i just had to do and uh, i hope wish and pray that uh, i do many more films uh, down south because uh, um, you know they are so rich in content they have such good stories they have such good uh, um technicians directors all of that everybody is wonderful over here and this style of working is very good so i would love to yeah
Uh, you were supposed to do a film with Mahesh Babu. Um, what's the status on that? And who are the other Telugu heroes you'd like to? The status is that even I don't know the status on that film yet because I, I believe it's been shelved. Uh, but uh, I would definitely like to work with Mahesh Babu if if at and all. And any other project. Telugu heroes you'd like to work with in the future? Um, if if given the um, opportunity, I would love to work with Mahesh Babu and uh, Ravi Teja. I've seen a few films of his as well. Um, yeah. Hi to all the India Glitz viewers. Uh, my film Linga is releasing on the 12th of December. So please go to the theatres and watch it and say no to piracy. I'd like to wish Rajni sir a very happy birthday.